you. It's good to be back in Test Cricket. Something a little bit different once again. Haven't played in a test for a while. Oh, gee, it's fast, isn't it? But just something different. I've got to get used to it again. The difference between hitting quick runs versus, I guess, survival, which is exactly what a test is about. But coming in, very low pressure at the moment. It's 3 for 216. So it is pretty chill. Look at that. Nice, even bounce. Oh, bang, bang. Australia. Oh, no, just bang. Singular. Steve Smith is out. 4 for 218. Josh Inglis, the man at the other end. Shot, that is. We are away with our first boundary of the day. No run. Oh, bang, off the back foot. Look very nice. Although, it might slow up here. But it ticks into the rope. Lovely. It's been so long since I've played a test. I honestly do need to, like, remember how it works. Because it's just like... I've been playing these T20 cricket games and these ODI games uh, for a significant period of time. We almost, I think we had, what, a year off with no summer? So it's good to actually get back to some kind of international cricket. So it does make it a little bit of a challenge to adjust the format. But I feel pretty comfortable already. In 21 balls, I've looked good without being troubled at all. Oh, that's not great. But, you know, for the most part... Yes. Especially from my point of view with the bat, should be really, really good, and um, I'm almost thinking after this tour, like this tour, and then the next tour. So we get through Australia playing the West Indies. We get through Australia playing South Africa. That's the Australian summer get done. We then have a tour of Bangladesh. Now I think once we do those two tests. We just go straight to a World Cup. Honestly, like... Because that is now the biggest thing that I can do in this career mode. Waiting. And we set it up as the World Cup being the big finale of the career mode for 2027 or whatever it is. And should we go on to win the World Cup? Huge. Uh, but obviously, if we were to lose it, then, you know, you go time jump forward to the next one. It's sort of an Avengers Endgame type operation. <laughs> we, we go through, we've had our phase one and two and three or whatever it is, which has been, you know, playing local cricket, playing state cricket, playing... Uh, international competitions, playing uh, as the international, you know, team as Australia, as their captain of Australia across all the formats. What is there left to do than win a World Cup? That will be our oh, our next challenge as we nick one here and get out for just twenty runs. It's disappointing. Five for two fifty-five. Alright, so I'm out here in the middle. The team is three for two thirty-two. They had a 50, 50 run lead in the first innings. So we're up by two eighty-five at the moment. So getting in a pretty good spot. Well Pukowski there, one thirty knot. It is only day three as well in this test. So there's so much time, plenty of chances for us to have a pretty good innings with the bat. Another one. Oh, that's putrid. That's what that is. Not good at all. And that'll probably take us to the end of the first game. Because I doubt we will bowl. Geez, Zampa rips through the team to take 5 for 31. Australia winning by 258 runs in the end. 1-0 over the West Indies. 
Pretty simple in the end. Wilpakovsky, 96 in the first, 204 in the second. Too good with the bat. And we did, we, we, and we won the game. Test match number two, Electric Boogaloo. Welcome to the MCG. Oh, the team's struggling a little bit here at three for 187, needing a wicket. Right there. That's why I'm here. I'm the captain, I'm here to provide. Catch it. Yeah. There's the wicket. In classic test match fashion. We deliver the goods with the little edge onto the pad. The team are now Nathan Ellis, nice take. Four for 192. Oh, he's missed it and he's bowled him. He has missed it and it's bowled him. That is too good. He's looking at his bat going, is there a hole in this? May is out for a duck. Five for 192. And as captain, I provide the goods. Gee, that was a big over in the context of the match. Just turned the game very quickly. Got Australia right back in this here on the first day of this test. That's a nice shot into the gap. There'll be at least two. I reckon this will be my last over in the spell. Can I provide another Waiting. breakthrough? Oh, and he stunned him like that. That is a ripper. Have a look at this turn and rip out of the pitch. Oh, it's done him dirty. He's very disappointed out for 48, 6 for 205. I've got three. Gee, some games you just feel you've got the groove. And that's exactly what I've got at the moment. Three for seven from 3.4. And I've got the West Indies in all sorts. They're six for 205. Well, they're not in all sorts, but I suppose by the time I came in, they were cruising all of a sudden. Both set batsmen, plus one, gone, and they're six for 205. So we have a drink here. Let's have a look here. Look at everyone. Gathered round. Cameron Green giving me a drink. Well done. All six wickets also have fallen to leg spin in this match. Three from me, one from Manus, one from the two from Zampa. That's six leg spin wickets. That's crazy. Oh, there was a chance. Yep. The very next ball. The edge. And the take. And the wicket of the big man. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Just a little outside tickle. I got four. Seven for 210. Sorry, 214. I thought it was 210. But gee, what an effort this has been. This is four for nine on five overs. Crazy bowling. Oh, and another one that's bowled him. What is going on in this West Indies team? I've got my fifth. They're just not picking up the bounce. Because that, it went under the bat. Anyway, it's a silver's out for six, eight for 220. Kima Rochi now. What am I doing other than tearing through this lineup? I've got five for 13. And here I was saying, oh yeah, I don't need to bowl this game. Oh, wow, 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 well, well, well fielded. Oh, that's pretty tight. It's probably going down. Might not have pitched in line. Yeah, the review says it, pitching outside the leg. But that was really the only thing holding it back. It was close, wasn't it? Anyway, Nathan Ellis rips through the last two wickets. All that for 226. Look at me go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> ah, I think it's out. Ah, oh, that's very disappointed. Australia He's filthy about it. <laughs> out for a duck. Do uh, you tell you what, after what was a very, very good first innings performance with the ball, we have decided we're getting it early. Give me the ball early. I want wickets. 
Oh, this is just good bowling, but um, back in the attack, five wickets taken. Oh, six wickets taken. <laughs> I was gonna say, as a collective team, that is a nice one. Just a leading edge, this. The first person cam sees the player diving to take the catch. Is the grass really nice and close there. Six for 237. May is out for 43. The West City's hope is pretty much gone, to be honest. If they had any left, that is. So they got a lead of 130. So we still need to chase that down. But wickets we'd love to get just to minimize the chase. Oh, is that out? Kept very, very low, didn't it? Oh, that is well played. All the way. Oh, that's lovely. Very happy with that. Took a while. Finally got one to cut back in. There was an inside edge, but I don't think it would have mattered. Was going onto the stumps anyway. Seven for two six four. That's a big wicket. They were really just starting to get going again. Like those two had put on thirty six runs for the partnership, and all of a sudden it gets broken. Oh, and again that has missed the stumps by not a lot. Oh, the wrong and again. Also, is this the new ball? It's the 80th over. Just realised that. That's out. That is out. Yes. It probably almost did turn too much. Oh, yeah. It still could have almost turned too much. Out for four. Eight for two, seven, eight. I want to look at it as well. How going down was it? Oh, no. It was hitting leg stump. That's all right then. Definitely was turning a bit. Right there. The wrong one has got two wickets so far in this uh, this innings. Now I am a sneaky chance to get a five for in this innings as well, which would get me to ten wickets for the match. That's hit outside the line. Oh, that's plum. As far as I'm concerned, it's plum. Height, maybe, and does it pitch in line? Pitching in line, surely, is the first thing to check off. Tick. Impact in line. Tick. Wickets. Hitting. Tick. Good review. Good wicket. Nine down West Indies. I need this five for. I want the ten for the match. Out. Nine for 282. Kemo Roach gone. Seals. The new man in. I've got four for 25. Can we make it five? Yes, we can! He's got 10! And I end on a hat trick, but it won't count because it'll be a new match. But jeez! Huge! Tell you what, if this gets taken away from me, I'll be filthy. Now, this is plum. This is absolutely plum. Mmm! Back to back LBWs. Very good bowling for me across both innings. Lots of variety in the wickets, lots of LBs, lots of bowls, an edge, a bat pad. Huge. 10 for the match. Just good bowling, really. There was the first. And then the chop on. Would have been bold anyway, but a good wrong -un. Then this wrong -un. Plum. Then this one. Plum. Then this one, plum again. <laughs> that took the last five wickets. Bold LB, LB, LB. 282. The West Indies lead by 175. Um, I don't really feel like I need to bat. Surely the team will get the job done. But if they don't, I will hit the winning runs. Thank you very much. Okay, we got 40 odd to get. Let's survive at least till then. It's pretty full, so it's able to be drived. Oh, that was driven on the up. Didn't get it out of the middle, but it will go for three runs. Yep. Oh, nice. Off the back foot, punched. Yes. 
Great. Beautiful. Fabulous. Four. Yep. Oh, and that's pulled away now. This will be a couple. We are just 25 runs away from victory with that two. Etched four. Gee, I'm lucky there. I really am lucky there. That is perfect, though. End of the over. It's three for 159. 11 runs to win. Do we just do it in one over? Bang! It's only going to be four, I think. Oh. All right, well, we have to do it now. We have to do it in this over now. Because otherwise, you know the AI are going to hit the winning runs. Oh, that's good. That is good. And it's going to be four. Three runs to win. All right, come on. Let's hit the winning runs, surely. Oh. Oh, I could probably go to third man, maybe. Edged. Oh, it doesn't get through. No run. No run. Why is there a deep mid wicket? Yeah, yeah. That's an edge, but it's through the gap. That'll do it. Winning runs. Three for 177. We've done it. Handy little cameo there. Surely player of the game as well. We took 10 wickets through the match. It's glorious. And that's what you do as the captain. 2-0 in the series. Settle the score. What does that mean? Hit the winning runs. Lovely. Love to see it. Australia win by seven wickets. Too good. Jeez, look at Caleb Jewell. Jeez, he's a tall bloke, isn't he? And there I am. The best player on the field. Thoroughly deserved. Player of the match. Ten wickets. A handy cameo in the fourth innings. And a nice series win for Australia against the West Indies. We're now taking on South Africa in a three-test series. That's going to be exciting. Jeez, lots coming up, isn't it? You know, personally, I think that that was exactly what they expected of us. Well done, everyone. That's exactly what we expected of you. Amazing. It was. <laughs> and once again, Eggman has called it a draw. It's not a draw. You are an idiot. Anyway, uh, that is going to do us. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, and next time we will be hosting South Africa for a three test series in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, as I said before. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.